Hello my friends, what is up? It's Kat here. Thank you guys for coming back and joining me. We're getting right back into it today with our Bad Batch reactions. Jumping into this week's episode, I am clearly stupid because I did not pick up on the cliffhanger of last week in which it is heavily implied that perhaps Fennec Shand is talking to Asajj Ventress. I was so taken aback because I thought that she was like setting up Hunter and Wrecker. I thought she was like framing them or whatnot, but then I was like, I got, I fell down into the wrong rabbit hole. All the signs were there. My brain just wasn't, wasn't braining. And perhaps I wasn't even thinking in that realm because I know there's been discussions surrounding the plausibility of her return during this time period, the circumstances and how it potentially, if at all, overlaps with Dark Disciple, which I am currently in the middle of reading. So all I know from that is that I just want her to be happy. <laughs> I just want, I just want her and Quinlan Voss to be happy. Those two go through some ordeals, but I do know that they're obviously an item, they're a thing, you know, when they get together and it would make sense if the two of them were somehow working, trying to save any remaining Jedi, you know, who might get wrapped up in this, you know, there's clearly obviously bounties out now for individuals or targets who have a higher M count per se. So all of that wasn't occurring to my brain uh, this time last week. So there's the possibility, of course, that perhaps if that's where this is going, she may return this evening. That would make sense. You know, I do remember in the initial trailer, I was obviously excited to see her and she of course deserves to come back on screen. She's legendary, she's epic, but I just remember questioning where her role would fit in. How does she play into this story? And I know there was discussion that perhaps it, it could only make sense if it were flashbacks. We'll find out, we'll see. I could be rambling here for nothing. So without further ado, I'm really freaking excited. Let's just get right into it. It was cloudy on Pabu for once. Still no word from Fennec. Since when do we wait around for intel? Can't be prepared if we don't know what we're dealing with. Betcha, wait! Betcha? What is it? We've been in there plenty of times. This music. Oh, hello. Uh oh. Oh, oh. Can't believe it. I can't believe we're seeing her. Frick, her her voice hearing her again, but she's not bald. My brain is like how does standing on one leg have anything to do with in count? Let go of your conscious mind. <laughs> again. You must be a Jedi, right? No. Long story. Run a big run! Now that she's gone, whatever you're planning on doing won't end well for you. How do you want this to go? 
<laughs> oh my gosh, the elevation. Bitcha! Time to climb. Y'all don't want to face her. It's like child's play. Ah! <laughs> Ouch! Oh my god. She is dunking on them. Oh my god. She's putting on a clinic. <laughs> what you really want with Omega? Maybe I'll take her off your hands. The path with Quinlan? Stand down. She's just a champ. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Frick. She's a war criminal. Times have changed. We were born to the same war. I'm many things, but I am not your enemy. You don't know the things she did during the war, Omega. Then why didn't she kill you when she had the chance? People can change. I never gave up on you, did I? Touche. I say we give her a chance. No chaperones today. You said no distractions. Look at these two blonde besties. As I can't. They must have told you all about the things I've done. I think you're trying to help me. And you like us. Get it. Time for your final test. Stop smiling. <laughs> she hasn't changed. I mean, she's changed morally, but attitude wise, same as ever. Many who wield the force have an affinity for nature. Give it a try. Close your eyes and reach out. I'm getting Luke and Ray vibes. But make it now. She knows more than you know. I'm not the one holding back. Drive, go, maybe. Ventures, drive the boat. Drive the boat, somebody. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ew, it's got slime coming out of its mouth. Oh, oh, frick. Capsized and in the water with that thing? Nope. Oh. She's gonna use the force. Oh, 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 oh. Or Ventress is gonna slice and dice. <sighs> swim, y'all! Swim some So this is supposed to be similar to like the monster on Dathomir that she makes Quinlan face? And it was like all those changing colors and had tentacles, I think. Like, is it supposed to be an ode to that?
We're gonna figure it out. Thanks for trying. Maybe she was lying to her. You're lying. About which part? If Omega did have that potential, she'd have to be trained, leaving you behind. That's not happening. The Empire is after her, and they won't stop. You're not as safe as you think you are. Our business is done. I'm like emotional. Holy schnickies. My brain. My heart, my soul, my brain, everything. My everything. Um oh my god, she's queen. She's wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. I I, I guess I'm like eternally freaking out because I never thought we'd live to see the day again where we get to see her again. And as I said before, you know, it's a shame that she kind of really never had closure necessarily. You know, her her ending was mysterious as far as where we left off with her, you know, in, in the Clone Wars. So, you know, I again, I still have to finish uh, Dark Disciple, but I know there was discussion of does this retcon what happens in that book? So I'm, I, I can't speak to that yet. You know, this version of her we see now, she hasn't lost her sass. She hasn't lost her attitude but she has certainly changed just to see this you know kind of transformed version of her while still maintaining you know all the qualities that make Ventress Ventress. <laughs> Hunter Crosshair Wrecker not trusting her necessarily you know having trepidations about this whole thing now paired with if Omega does have this ability and Ventress is kind of you know, hiding something, or if she straight up lied to Omega to maybe kind of like put her at peace. That's what I was thinking. Like perhaps she would have seen how young and naive and innocent she is. Perhaps she might have recognized that and tried to quell her fears, telling her, you know, false news, telling her a, l a little white lie. And you know, she always has known that she's different and felt isolated in in that and being different and until she met Emery. You know, being the only kind of female clone. It's conflicting because I'm sure you know for her the best possible news is you don't have an M count worthy of being hunted down by the Empire so don't worry about it. She obviously was dismayed and a little heartbroken to hear that because I think she does want to believe. It's a tough situation because yeah best case scenario like she wouldn't have. She wouldn't have an M count. She wouldn't have the midichlorians and you know the Empire would back off but now I'm questioning if they're looking for midichlorians. You know Ventress said herself like I've never known a clone to be force sensitive Granted, there were millions of you, so it's possible, but the whole purpose is to find test subjects with a midichlorian count, perhaps surviving, not for long, Jedi who are being brought to Tantus as well. You know, Echo mentioned when they went to the outpost to try to get some more schematics, but he was able to at least find that there were more clones being held on Tantus than they originally even perceived, so perhaps there are even more test subjects that aren't even clones. Perhaps there are Jedi, you know, that we do know that the Empire, they're, they're hunting for sensitive people and if Palpatine needs one because I, I guess I know that we all had questioned especially even from season one there's always been questions about Omega and what is so special about her you know how did she come to be what is her purpose almost in a way it felt from the beginning like she was created for a reason and this is why she stands out so much so it's always kind of been on the front burner that she could be force sensitive I know that was something that there were theories about from again the first season so that's why my brain wasn't necessarily sh so shocked to learn that she had an M count worthy of whatever you know hemlock needs her for now this now that she is an asset but I guess I never considered if that's what they're looking for they're looking almost in the wrong place but they're obviously not stupid so it's like perhaps there are Jedi or, or survivors on Tantus as well being similarly experimented on I, I just I, I don't know there's there's obviously still more to this and everything's still such a mystery is that where this is leading Perhaps they're not all gonna die, but perhaps they're gonna part ways so that Omega can go and join the path with uh, with Quinlan and Ventress and train to be a Jedi. Oh, what the, oh, 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 oh. I don't know, but it's clear that's what she wants. Even just the thought of being a Jedi to her, you know, she lit up, you know, Ventress here, you know, not to say that I don't, I didn't appreciate this episode, but the trajectory of where the season was going, it, they didn't even necessarily need this epic cameo, but I'm not gonna question it. I'm gonna, I'll take it. Again, I've not finished Dark Disciple, 
disciple and I know there was some controversy about her return possibly in this show and if it does retcon again I can't speak to any certainty about that because I don't fully know so I'm gonna go finish that. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode and Ventress's pretty long awaited you know return never again I never thought we would live to see this day. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode where you think this is gonna go if you want Omega to pursue a path you know to train to be a Jedi if that's if that's really the case. Asajj was potentially withholding the full truth from her so I don't think this is a solved done deal just yet but let me know what you guys think. May the force be with you guys always again sorry that these Bad Batch reactions have been very delayed. I've been quite backlogged so I'm trying to edit them as fast as I possibly can so thank you guys for being patient with me. Hope you guys are doing so so well and I will see you guys again very very soon. Bye guys.